the skull. Okay, to start out the skull, all we do is again uh, make sure we clone it. Go to Z Sphere. Go to Rigging. Select Mesh. Select the skull. Then Topology. Edit Topology. Okay, the first step we do is the eyes. And the eyes are going to state the resolution for the entire model. Again, make sure you have symmetry on. Meaning, if I make big, bold changes, like from here to here, and going all the way around, I'm going to have fewer polygons to worry about. But, um, with big old polygons, I'm also going to worry about having enough resolution in areas for, to hold detail. Right now, um, I'm more concerned with the polygon flow and not so much about detail. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to try that same method um, I did before. You know, like I got these, they kind of add up. Um, the space between them is about the same. That's a that's another good way to 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 maintain an even amount. That's another good way. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Notice there's eight here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten even number. So there's another way of really kind of going in here and kind of knowing how to do topology is know those basic steps. Even numbers, uh, uniform spacing, those are all good things. Try to stay away from a midline, you know, always have a, a bridged ladder. So this this would be a bridge ladder. If I had a median line, which is a line going down the exact center, uh, I have a hard time with that because some cases uh, the midline gets broke. So okay, now here's here's a flaw. Ready? Okay, now, what I did before is I made sure there was an edge loop that goes around all major forms. Okay, hopefully you paid attention to that. Hopefully you were screaming at me. Okay, so in this case, I want to make the same type of deal. These are major forms, so they need an edge loop going around them. In other words, I have to do one of these. just like that. So now it has a major form change. So even the eyes, uh, before I connect these two, I have to have an edge loop that goes in between the two forms. This edge loop is pretty tight up against the first one. Okay, I see that that one didn't connect. That one did. So now there we go. And why is this uh, forming right like that? Why is it why is it connecting like that? and see where it says max strip length well if I lower this I won't get that if I make it too high however or not high enough I'm going to end up completing a lot of this stuff bit for bit so you might be changing this a lot 
Okay, now I can connect the two forms together now that they have an edge loop around each other. So now one will not take anything away from the other one. In other words, I can add or move detail around on this side and it's not going to play upon the notes. There we go. That looks really nice. Normally if this was human, like the human face, uh, we would worry more about edge loops around the nose and they'd have to go down. Since this is a solid chunk of matter, however, we do not have to worry about that. I will worry about that there is a bone right here though that needs to be thought of okay and it's right here so that's a major form um, that means I'm gonna have to go like that And since this major form starts taking a, a new direction altogether, I'm going to have to start going in that direction. Okay. Here's another one. Here's another major form that I have to worry about. In this case, start making segue for that just like that and move this one here Oop! see how I can move that that's not good that means it didn't connect okay again looks like I got a rogue should be able to move these yeah just like that so now I can move these up against that form and make sure none of them are broke good And now this is getting kind of detailed. Uh, what I what I want to stay away from is getting too much detail. I mean, in an area that doesn't really have any detail to begin with. The only thing I'm worried about is this bone. Um, but we're going to take this bone and falsify it uh, because trying to produce the whole is just a little hard as a topology lesson for your very first topology lesson. So. I chose as an instructor not to include that. That being said, you know, I totally embrace the idea that you want to try it. Here is a here is a topology reduction area. We do not need a whole lot of detail in here. So what I'm going to do is draw these lines up, go like that, and combine these. Okay? As you can see, this puts a natural edge loop in this area and connects them in such a way where they're all quad. Okay, that's just a polygon reduction trick here in Maya or ZBrush. Oops. So that area right there, that's a dead ending edge loop and now I've been able to, here's three polys, I've been able to reduce three polys to one poly. So now as I go up, I'm only having this big block instead of three little ones. Please meet me in the next video where I cover some more.